The thing is, if you're planning to do well in your life, there is no way that you can live without a calendar. From tracking what kind of like birthday somebody's having and like repeating them yearly to just like figuring out what kind of different appointments you have, sometimes even a month in advance is something really important and you should be focusing on. So this is something that I've personally learned because in India, like we were never in the habit of using Google Calendar or any kind of calendars whatsoever because things are more spontaneous. If you have an appointment with somebody, we can just directly knock on their doors and like ask them, hey, do you have time to go out somewhere? Or like, do you want to go and like go to the restaurant or something? If you want to meet a professor, you just have to regularly check it out because even if the professor would say, hey, I'm going to be here tomorrow from this time to this time, there's like very rare chances that the professor is actually going to be there. The same is true with the public authorities, but the same isn't true what I've found out in Germany. So this is the reason I recommend my core students to like kind of really religiously follow the Google Calendar because most of the times the appointments that you will be getting are going to be sometimes months in advance. So let me give you a personal example. So because I'm having a business, I'm not covered under like normal like pension schemes and stuff. I was thinking of like how I can figure out like how kind of like private like you know pension schemes and stuff are given. So I just wrote to a few companies, wrote to a few agents, thought to discuss with them. So with one guy, I got a nice appointment which was like fitting my schedule, but that appointment was like three weeks in advance. Three weeks in advance, a particular date at 12 o'clock on 8th January or something. And then afterwards, the crazy thing was that we decided for this, I don't know, like maybe 17 December or something, even before that. And then without any kind of further communication between each other, like we both met there at 12 o'clock without any kind of question is this going to show up or if this meeting really exists because we haven't talked about it at all none of that we just directly met there at 12 o'clock and things ran as they were supposed to run one hour on point both of us left to our own like schedules and this is how it went so this is super important also whenever you are like in the university and you're tracking different assignment deadlines I think it is absolutely important that as soon as the professor tells you that this is the assignment and you will have to submit it at this and this uh, date and at this time because most of the professors will mention 2359 that's what they mention for deadlines so it is super important that you kind of like keep that in mind and you directly put in the google calendar right away super important like this is the very first thing you should be doing any kind of appointment you see any kind of thing that somebody is telling you directly put it in the Google Calendar so that you're able to track it. I've seen the older people like doing it in a different way. They're still keeping calendars. They're still having like manual uh, entries in that. But I feel that most of us like we're using our phones anyway. So it is a lot more practical because not only you can make the appointments from the phone, but you can also make appointments directly from your computer, which is super important because maybe you're sitting in the lecture and the professor tells you about a deadline. Uh, you can just directly put that inside your computer or your laptop sitting in the classroom that is super important another thing that people don't use that often is for example inviting friends so if you have like a few people within the same class and you're having some kind of exams or deadlines coming if you're working in some kind of group and it's four or five of you and you have to submit one particular presentation that you put the event in the google calendar and you also use the add guest list so that you send an invite to everybody and everybody's reminded that okay at this and this time you will have to like show up you have to do this and that another thing that people rarely use is like using the location sometimes it is like super helpful that whatever kind of like extra details that somebody's telling about the appointment you directly like write in the notes in the google calendar and also so that you don't have to like figure out at the last moment different kind of places where do you have to go this and that so that is also a super important kind of uh, tip that I would give you because these kind of things make your life easier. Not only it is going to make you more focused on the things that you have to do during the day, but also you will be actually getting done more because everything that you have to do in that particular day is going to be right in front of your eyes. So you will know what exactly kind of like time slots you have available and how you can like work on that. Another thing that I would recommend you guys to do is like whenever you have to like go out or like you have to go to grocery shopping or something, make some time slots for it. See if you're already somewhere in the vicinity of some kind of supermarket and you're maybe on the way to university and stuff, like you already like take some extra time out that you're going to be in the supermarket for that and that time. And it generally never takes more than 30 minutes. But when you put those things inside, you will actually be able to see at the end of the day how many things you actually got done. And 
this is a, such a strong kind of evaluator because you're looking yourself in the mirror you're looking yourself in the mirror and you're seeing did you actually get done something on that day or were you just feeling busy because feeling busy and actually getting something done are two completely different things whenever i'm working here so like i have a lot of things to take care of like i have to take care of the appointments some kind of orders uh, the business youtube and then afterwards if i have to go outside get some like right now we have to get the house repairs done and stuff when i was in the university when i was doing my part-time job i was also like keeping a track of that on what kind of dates i have to work how much time it is going to take me for traveling from one place to the other a feature that you shouldn't also like miss out on is like repeat function so repeat function use it when you are tracking some kind of like birthdays so if there's somebody who is special to you and you want to like remember their birthdays or not even special to you even if they're just your friend and many friends do like they are not going to put their like date of birth public on facebook and something so you wouldn't know actually that their birthday is coming but you talk to them you ask them and then afterwards you put it in your calendar and right at six o'clock in the morning i get the reminder that all right this person is having the birthday and this way you are also like not bombarded with all kinds of nonsense notifications because facebook tend to do that and facebook will show you all sorts of stuff so that is super important that you are like really selecting what kind of information you would like to take from a particular platform so google calendar works perfectly that way and also for example if i have some classes uh, in the university or if i had some kind of like days for the part-time job i used to repeat it per week so i would repeat it for 14 weeks 15 weeks 16 weeks you have all of these different options in the google calendar so absolutely use them they will make your life a lot lot easier and you will get a lot more things done in the limited amount of time you have in the day because to be honest the the more you grow the more kind of like tasks you have at your hand the more you will start feeling like that 24 hours in a day is just not enough time for you but if you track what you're doing if you see if you're actually busy or you were just like pretending to be busy it is just going to make your life a lot more easier. You will get a lot more done. In the next productivity videos, I will be talking about using Trello and using Clockify and like some kind of other apps that I generally use, how to use your phone actually, because I feel like that is also something that is not like discussed enough. And it's just like phones are supposed to be, yeah, well, I will, <laughs> I will go into detail in some other video, but like there are a few things to discuss there too, so that you are saving your time and not just like, wasting scrolling through different kind of notifications all right so thanks a lot for watching the video i'll see you in the next one bye